Well, thanks to three one and three nothing victories last weekend, the Griffins have vaulted back into first place in the Central Division standings and now prepare to meet the surging Manitoba Moose. Welcome to Game Day Preview, brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union. Well, the Griffins finally ended that miserable eight-game losing streak in Rockford last Friday and then followed that up with their first shutout of the campaign, a 3-0 conquest of the visiting Milwaukee Admirals here on Saturday. Patrick Rebar did the honors, stopping all 30 shots that he faced, lowering his goals against average to 2.30, ranking him now third in the American Hockey League. And while he is still learning English, the Slovakian-born Rebar has certainly adjusted well to the American Hockey League. I enjoy hockey here. I'm, I'm so happy that I can be here. I, uh, that I, that I have op oh, the opportunity to be here, and it's great. Well, the win Saturday improved Grand Rapids to 14-3, 1-3 now inside Van Andel Arena, where they've earned points in 13 of their last 14 games here. Wade Megan figured mightily in the scoring this past weekend. He contributed on five of the six goals scored by Grand Rapids and now has 10 points in his uh, last eight games since his return after a month-long stint with the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, I think um, I learned a lot in my time in Detroit um, just from being around high-caliber players and uh, and coaches and stuff like that. So I just tried to uh, reserve as much information as I could and try to carry it over uh, to my game here in the American League. So the Griffins now face a Manitoba team that has come out of nowhere to climb back into the playoff hunt. Goaltending from Eric Comrie, several key players coming back from injury and a team meeting right after the holidays uh, proposing either we start winning now or else mentality. And since then, the team has gone 6-0-1 in their last seven games. We're right back in it. We have some games uh, in hand that uh, we could use uh, the next few months. So uh, guys getting a lot of confidence. I think when you win, you know, it, it carries on for next game, so that's what we've been uh, doing since we came back from that uh, Christmas break. Griffins will start Harry Sateri in net tonight. He's earned points in 11 of his last 13 starts. They'll still be without Chris Terry. A nagging injury keeps him sidelined for a third consecutive game. Philip Peronik today reassigned by the Detroit Red Wings. He's expected to join the team tomorrow and should be available to play against San Jose in the two-game set here at Van Andel Arena. Thanks for joining us for our game day preview brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union. And we close this one out uh, with on this date in Griffin's franchise history exactly six years ago, local boy Mike Knubel played his first and only game in a Griffin uniform. That's certainly a good memory, and I know we lost a game in OT, and I know I think I missed a penalty shot. And I know I had a great assist, Bob. You might have to look it up. I know it was probably even on the day, but it was a good memory for sure. I intended it to be longer, but the way things worked out, I ended up signing with Philly the next day because they were injured, and, and that was kind of the end of that.